Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Christy Van with Fantastic Finances and on this channel I teach Velocity Banking. So I'm working with a couple that one of them is a disabled veteran. So we definitely want to help them get out of debt as quickly as possible. So their income is currently $10,100. Their expenses stand at $9,500 and they have about $600 in cash flow. They have a lot of credit cards through here you'll see. The IRS um, also has them at 42000 student loans at 40000 and then the mortgage at 410000 So we are going to be dealing with mainly how to get rid of the credit cards very quickly so that we will be able to move into the IRS debt, of course. They only have a um, USAA credit card right now that we're going to be using for a line of credit, okay? So we're going to start with that 12768 The income is going to go in, and they have about $3,000 in savings, so we're going to go ahead and pay off the balance right here. So now the USAA credit card debt is to a zero balance. Uh, when we did the income transfer, it knocked out this payment of $314, which now becomes cash flow. So their cash flow moved up to $914 just in the first month, okay? Also in the first month, we're going to come in and pay off the American Express card. That will also make this $57 cash flow. So there's that debt gone as well. The interest is at 30% on this card. So I have charged the interest based on the highs and the lows averaged out, which would be a $158 for the first month. So when we add the expenses back in, which is $91.86, and the American Express card, the interest, our balance is at 11,231. And month two, income goes in, bringing the balance down to $1,131. The expenses would come back out through the month, bringing the balance back up, adding in the interest, we're at 10,390. Income three goes in, brings the balance down to $290. Do you see how that we are taking the balances way down which is completely knocking a lot of that interest off. That's the way Velocity Banking works, is to knock this balance down that stops the interest feeding on a high principal. So in month three, income three goes in, bringing it to 290. You'll then add in the expenses at 91.29, bringing your balance back up to 94.19. We're gonna pay off Mary Kay next, the 813. There's 40 more dollars in cash flow. The balance is up to 10232 The income for month four comes in at 10100 bringing the balance down again to $132. The expenses are now at $9,089 because we paid off the Mary Kay. The interest being added in brings the balance back up to $9,354. We are now going to pay off Discover at $3,745, giving us $110 more in cash flow bringing the balance up to $12,999. Income goes in in month five, bringing the balance down to $2,899. The expenses are now at $8,979. The interest at $200. And then the balance is at $12,078. Income month six goes in, bringing that down to $1,978. So the expenses will come back out. The interest will come out, bringing the balance to 11133 Income month seven goes in, bringing the balance back down to $1,033. The expenses and interest will come back out through the month, bringing the balance back to 10164 Income eight goes in, bringing the balance to $64. We're going to pay off Synchrony Bank now. Cash flow of $141 now added to our cash flow, which means our expenses are down to $8,838. The interest at one thirty is charged, bringing the balance back up to $12,704. Income in month nine goes in, bringing that balance down to $2,604. The expenses and the interest will come back out through the month, bringing the balance back up to $11,634. Income in month 10 will go in, bringing the balance down to $1,534. Expenses and interest come out again, bringing the balance back up to $10,537. Do you see how that 
when you throw that income in, it knocks these balances all the way down to the hundreds. And that's great because this card had been sitting at 12,000 for over a year. So they have saved a ton of interest. Now in month 11, we know that he can get a line of credit at this point. So he needs to at least try for fifteen to fifty thousand dollars in a line of credit, and let's start wiping out the big debt, which is the IRS, the student loans. So assuming that he's got the line of credit in month twelve, we're going to pay off the USAA loan, which is, should be about forty-seven hundred because he's been paying two twenty-four the whole time. That now becomes cash flow. Now, looky here, I accidentally added discover in twice. See, that's what I say. Watch my numbers because I too make mistakes. That's why I leave room for error with other things. So this would not come out actually, but we'll leave it alone. He could take that and apply to one of the other debts, uh, but we'll just go ahead and leave the totals alone since they're in there. We'll add in the expenses again. And then we're back up to 16949 Month 12, the income will go in, bringing the balance down to 68.49. The expenses and interest will come out through the month, bringing the balance to about 15000 16000 depending on due to this now where I made that mistake. The balance would be at 5553 The expenses and interest would come back out, bringing the balance back up to 14307 Month 14, the income goes in, bringing the balance down. We'd add in the expenses, the interest, and look here, $5,000 to the IRS. So that brings our balance back up to $17,931. Income month 15 goes in, the expenses and the interest come out, bringing the balance back up to $16,635. And then in month 16, we would take off the $10,100 again for income which would bring that balance to 6535 and we just keep moving on so then this person would go over here and grab more of the IRS let's work to pay that down so the idea is to keep that account revolving income in expenses out this person will continue to work on the debt that he has with the IRS with the student loans he has been working 16 months so whatever payments he's been making to the IRS plus the 5000 that we made here would just mean that he has less to pay as he continues out through the second year. And remember where I added in the Discover twice, I should have put in the Navy Federal there. So all of the credit cards would be gone within 16 months. He can now work to finish off the IRS and get rid of them for sure and then start on the student loans. So he's going to be in great shape uh, within just 16 months. He can then go in and even start working on his home. And maybe if he went into a first lien, he could go ahead and wipe out the remaining debt and then start working on paying his home off as well. I hope that this makes sense to you. If it doesn't, please leave questions or comments below. I have links below the video. If you too would like to do a whiteboard, this is exactly what we do. We sit and we talk on Google Meet about what your finances are like, what your strategy might look like. I lay it out on a board for you, post it on YouTube, and that way you can go back and reference that video anytime you need to look ahead with whatever month that you're in to see if your numbers are about the same or hopefully better than what I've got on the board. Thank you so much for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.